Okay, you guys, today we're going to jump right into it. We are going to do a drawing of um, a dog. I'm going to go ahead and have you do it. Uh, your paper horizontal, which means the long side is this direction because the dog's body will be long. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump in. We're going to do a circle right here. And just a short line. That's going to, we're going to do some basic shapes first. And then we're going to do like a kidney bean or like a, you, a jelly bean shape right here. Maybe a little bit bigger, a little bit bigger. Do you notice how I'm sketching this? Not doing any particular dark lines. Okay, so that's about the body I'm looking at. Okay, so. Once we've established the shape of our dog, we're gonna go ahead and add more details. We're gonna start with the face, or I should say the head. So right here, I'm gonna go ahead and draw a forehead off of the circle that we have been, that we drew. And bring it down into like the protruding eyebrows. Eyebrow bone and their eyes like that. And then we're going to go inward, but then slightly to the left to make their nose. Nose. And then their little mouth. Bring a, a diagonal line up and meet it with the circle you drew and curve in. Then we're going to go back and do the bottom of their mouth and jawbone. And there's their cheekbone like that. You start to see the doggy now. Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and bring a line up here. That's going to come into play a little bit later. And that's the head. Okay, now what we're going to do is we are going to introduce the ears. So I'm going to start with uh, one of the ears here. I'm going to take this uh, curved line up. So not a point necessarily, a soft point. And bring it swooping down like that. I might make it a little bit larger, but let's see how the other ear goes. Remember I said that this line was going to um, have importance at some point. Well, we're going to just go ahead and connect the second ear. A nice little curve up and over and up, meeting the same distance here, the other ear, curving down, that, and since we see more of the ear on this side, we're going to have more detail on this one. We're going to see the inside of the ear, so we're going to go draw a little line like that. Kind of gives us the impression that we're going to see inside the ear here. And just give a few little lines to give um, the idea that we are seeing inside the ear. Okay, we, have, we see the ear now. Um, let's see here. Uh, now let's move towards the eye. Okay, so we're going to do the eye right here. We're going to do the second eye about here. And it's going to be like an upside down view, like a broad view, like that. And a straight line that comes across here. And we're going to put um, the eyeball right there. Pupil goes in here as well. That, hey, look, we're starting to see a little doggy. And then we're going to add to the nose to give us more detail. Uh, little nostril in here, a little line there. Cute little doggy, turning out silly nice, don't you think? Okay, so the next step is to add a little bit more to the face. So we're going to add um, these eyebrows over here. And I don't know if you guys noticed, I'm doing my little miniature pincher. That's what we're drawing. We're drawing my little miniature pincher. And the features that I'm drawing right now are part of um, the details of this dog because she is, um, she's tricolor. She's not tricolor, she's only two colors, I believe, so 
um, are going to give some of that, some of those details. Um, yeah, this doesn't work. How about we go down here? There we go. Better. Better. Looks a little bit better. Maybe this goes bigger. I'll come back to this if I want to improve it. Okay. But I do want to go ahead and continue to draw the features of the, um, the coloring. So we're going to take a line from the nose, curve it just under the eye here, up around the gonna avoid this line here. But you know what? Let me stop right there because I want to do the neck. The neck is going to come from the bottom of the jaw here and into the body there. That's the front of the neck. And then the back of the neck is going to come from the ear and join the body here. Okay, so let's go back to this nose line. And this is for the coloring, specifically for the coloring, right? And then we'll bring it in here. Now there's a lot of lines here that are confusing. So let's go ahead and erase these lines. And these were the sketch lines that we started off, right? They gave us direction, they gave us um, sense of proportion. You know, these beginning lines were just guidelines for us. So we want to erase those. That's why we always want to do these lines very lightly. So we can erase them and they don't show up after we've erased them. So for the most part, doesn't look so bad. Okay, we could probably erase a couple more lines in here. Okay, so we've got the head, we've got the neck. Now we're going to go ahead and go into the front legs. And I'm going to start, start with the front legs right here. Curve in. And down to the left. And into the little paws. And these little paws are kind of like upside down L's. Bring it around. Up. Little elbow here. Up. Let's see, call an elbows into the body. Oops, I do notice that. I don't see my full screen. Sorry about that. So what I did was I came down, curved in. Actually, I'm gonna add another curve here. Curve into like with ankle. So I'm gonna erase this one that I did earlier. And then just did these little like upside down L's. Make the paws, came back up, curving in, kind of create like a calf, and then the thighs, the upper thighs. The next leg is going to meet this leg. It's going to kind of start out here, swooping to the right, into a curve, like you're making an L, then curving down. A little bit of a curve outward, then bring it in. And this paw is going to be a slightly lower than this because it is in the forefront. And it's going to be larger because it is definitely in the forefront. So anything that we see up front in the front, um, the um, foreground of our drawing is going to be larger. Sorry, I guys lost the word into that. Okay. So it's a little bit larger than the back one. Come up. Kind of give it more of an elbow look into the thigh. And there are the two front legs. How cute is that? Okay, so well, let's go ahead and start off with the, the back side now. So we have his neck leaning into the body. I'm going to take a line, go straight over, curving down towards the back side, 
little bit creating a little curve in the bone area. Straight into the back leg. Looking down and then slightly a little bit too drastic of a line here. Slightly down. Now remember this leg is going to be in the foreground, so it's going to be fairly the same uh, size as that. And let's create the little paws of the upside down L's again. Or actually, you can call these C's, like backwards C's. I should say backwards, they're quite accurate. Okay, let's go up to the front of the paw, into the thigh. Not bad, looks like a little mini pin, huh? Okay, we need to get that other leg in the background. So the other leg in the background is going to be at the same shape. I should say it's going to lay on the um, background at the same spot. So we're going to roughly put a little note there. And we're going to start, well, you know what, we need to give a little bit of a belly. Right? So let's go into the belly like that. Okay. So now we're going to start at the top and curve directly to the right and curve to drastically to the left like that. And this side right here, curving out to the right and then back to the left. And that's where our little paw is going to end. Okay, I'm gonna erase these lines. So there's no confusion, messiness. Okay. Hey, we need, oh, we gotta, where's the little tail? Well, I don't know about you guys, but uh, I do appreciate that little mini pins have a slight little tiny little stubby tail. It's a little stubby tail. Yeah. Just a little stub. And that is our mini pin. We're going to go ahead and give some details, though, of the, um, the coloring that you might see on a mini pin. So I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, mark out some area here. Because my mini pin is black and beige. So, Part of this is going to be black, and part of it's going to be beige. And then inside here, too. And over here. And obviously, here on the, the chest area is going to be beige. So some of this base in here is going to be colored beige and some is going to be black. We do want to give a little definition right here with the thighs. And then this stomach probably more over here. Like that. Okay. So how are we doing so far? Let's take a look at it and see if we need to add any more details. Just a couple more details. We forgot the little the little nails. So we're going to put some nails in there. Mine is really long nails. You're not going to see a whole lot in the back there. Okay, guys. Then um, I'm going to start coloring it and I'll come back. Okay, you guys. I did the coloring. I made sure I did all the black areas. I could actually add a little bit of white in here to give it definition where his her belly is if I wanted to. Um, I also did tan brown. I used a brown. I didn't have tan. This is not her exact coloring, but um, you'll notice I did darker around the edges to give the illusion that it is three dimensional. And that is my little hazel, my little miniature pincher if she was a pup was a puppy because this is truly what a puppy's body looks like
Okay, guys, hope you enjoyed the drawing. And um, if you have any questions, you know where to find me. Bye.